I have a lot of chocolate dominant fragrances in my perfume collection, but today I narrowed it down to only 10 to give you my best chocolate fragrances recommendation. If you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel. If that sounds your jam, then please do keep watching and maybe consider subscribing. Chocolate is one of my favorite notes in a fragrance and I think the colder month season is the best time to wear chocolate dominant fragrances. So as mentioned, I am only discussing my top 10 and it's going to be chocolate fragrances for all budget. I have here Middle Eastern designer and niche fragrances. So without further ado, let's get this chocolate video started. So what I have in here are four edible super gourmand chocolate fragrances. And the other six are semi gourmand, um, but still having that perfumey quality in them. So I'm gonna start off with the edible chocolate fragrances, okay? I know it's not for everyone, but I know as well that a lot of you wanted to smell edible. So here are my top picks. First off is Le Chocolat by Chabot. And wow, basically this is a very sweet condensed milk with melted chocolate milk bar. It is so, so addictive, especially that opening. It really smells edible. So if that is your jam to smell like an edible chocolate, this is it. This is it, guys. Even though it is edible, I noticed that this has a jasmine note as well that slowly picks through during the wear time. In my opinion, this is still not extremely, extremely sweet. Mm, only the opening is extremely sweet and edible, but the dry down, since the jasmine note starts to pick through it becomes less sweet still very gourmand yes foodie like this is my favorite amongst the four gourmand collection from chabot and i noticed as well that this one has the best longevity out of the four it stays around four to six hours with moderate projection however the scent lingers on my skin throughout the day. Um, so I think that this is really worth it and I highly recommend you checking this one out. Lay et Chocolat by Chabot, uh, a very comforting milk chocolate. And also, can we just approve how beautiful this bottle is? Um, yeah. I have a discount code for Chabot just in case you are interested. It's Joanna10. Next up is a very inexpensive Middle Eastern oil. And this is called Choco Musk. And for sure, a lot of you have heard of this scent already. I know that they have a perfume called Choco Musk as well. However, I prefer this one just because I find this perfect for layering. Guys, if you want to have a chocolate skin scent all day, I highly recommend you layering this with any kind of chocolate perfume that you have. This costs less than 10 euros, I think. This is around 8 or 10 or... I don't know how much does it cost now maybe more but you guys this is a very oily creamy chocolate filling of a chocolate croissant yeah that's how this oil smells like it is so good mm. i love layering this with some of the fragrances that i'm gonna mention in today's video but guys, 
I just recommend you trying this one out. If you think you want to start trying chocolate dominant fragrance, but then you are scared to smell edible, check this one out. Even if you will smell like delectable, it is still very acceptable in my opinion. Um, the projection is not extremely strong. However, if you layer this with any other fragrances, of course, you're gonna be smelled. Longevity and projection of this perfume oil is a standard for any kind of oils, which is around four to six hours. And yes, highly recommend you Choco Musk, a very inexpensive chocolate oil fragrance. Next up is a fragrance that I love layering with Choco Musk. And this is a Middle Eastern fragrance called Nebras by Latafa. Well, what can I say? This fragrance is hype for a reason. This smells like a melted chocolate bar with some red berries and orange peel on top. This is such a beautiful gourmand, guys. Mm. This starts off very chocolatey. However, in the dry down, I noticed that the vanilla is actually peeking through. So it's kind of like a balance between chocolate and vanilla. I hyped this fragrance a long time ago, and I know that a lot of you bought this fragrance from my recommendation. And this one has a very good longevity and projection as well. Let's say around six to eight hours longevity. And if you overspray, this can give you very strong projection. And if you layer this with chocolate musk, that's it. That's it. You're going to smell like a chocolate fondant. So be ready. People might lick you. <laughs> no, of course I'm joking. Um, yeah, Latafa Pride Nebras. Right, the last in the edible chocolate category is Velvet Chocolate by Theodoros Calutinis. This basically is, oh my god, chocolate pralines sprinkled with cacao powder. This fragrance is so intoxicating, guys. If you love chocolate and you've tried this, you know what I'm talking about. This is mainly um, dark chocolate powder. Mm, mm. This is so good that you might even take a bite of yourself when you first spray it. The opening is like extremely edible. However, as it dries down, the edible factor actually goes down a little bit. And if that's your jam, then I highly recommend you checking this one out. When it comes to longevity and projection, I must say that this one has a moderate projection and longevity of around four to seven hours. In my opinion, if a fragrance is too gourmand, I feel like it's better to have a moderate projection because otherwise people might just bite you. Oh, I don't know. Do you feel the same? Um, yeah. Anyway, this is Velvet Chocolate, a very inexpensive chocolate fragrance as well from Theodoros Calutinis. So now I'm going to talk about chocolate fragrances that are half gourmand half grown up okay and i'm gonna start off with one of my favorite middle eastern fragrances in my collection and this is um afnan's modest dough for femme and basically this is a dupe of lancome's la nuit Trousseau, which is now discontinued i think mm. Wow, this one is strawberries and cherries deep in dark chocolate in the opening. As it dries down, it tends to lean more to that fruit chili uh, DNA. 
However, I still find the, the dark chocolate nuance very strong from this fragrance. I love it. Guys, this is so intoxicating. Men love this. My husband loved this on me. I think this is such a fun and flirty scent. Perfect for date nights. Another inexpensive chocolate dominant when fragrance. When it comes to longevity and projection, this perfume lasts. Okay, this lasts for more than eight hours with very strong projection. So, um, yeah, highly recommend Afnan Modesto for Femme. Next up is my favorite designer gourmand, and this is Angel Muse by Muggler. I'm showing you the EDT now because I broke my EDP bottle and it will be hard for me to wiggle around uh, in the video. So I'm showing you the EDT. And in case you're wondering, oh, what's the difference between the EDT and EDP? To be honest, I feel like they both have same projection with the EDP like having like a little stronger projection and the patchouli as well in the EDP stronger. Hence, it's the best to use during fall and winter time. Um, I normally use this during spring and summer because I feel like it's more airy. But anyway, let's talk about the scent. Oh my. If you watch my channel, you know that this is my favorite designer fragrance. And I'm so sad that this has been discontinued. Mm, oh my. It still gets me. This to me smells like peppery chocolate and hazelnut cake in the middle of Winter Wonderland. It is so, so good. Mm, it has a hazelnut cocoa spread note in it. However, this one smells very perfumey. You won't smell like really edible. Well, as I told you, anyway, the last six perfumes are more of a grown-up. Um, chocolate scents. Aside from being my favorite gourmand designer fragrance, I think this is my favorite designer fragrance as well of all time. If you can still find this where you live and you think that we have same taste, just buy this, okay? Buy this and let me know. Angel Muse has a very good longevity and projection. 8 plus hours and with strong projection. This baby over here gathers compliments as well. Such a fun and chic chocolate fragrance, guys. Um, Angel Muse by Mugler. Next up is Venom of Love by Navitus. Um, basically, this is chocolate coated cherry with touch of liquor um if ever you're familiar with a chocolate called mon cherry it, it's basically a chocolate with cherry liquor inside that is the scent that you're gonna get out of this fragrance mm, this is so good very gourmand yet oriental um this one has a depth um very sexy and alluring one of my favorites from Navitus. And of course, this is directed by Miss Paulina Shar here on YouTube. Um, I, I highly recommend this. So aside from cherry liquor trapped in a chocolate bar, this fragrance has almond, amberwood, and whipped cream as well that made this fragrance a little bit fluffier and intoxicating in my opinion. Um, perfect for date nights, amazing longevity and projection. Again, I'm talking about eight plus hours with strong projection, especially if you overspray. And Venom of Love, sour cherry and dark chocolate fragrance that is to die for by Navitus. Next up is again from Navitus and this is called Chocolate Queen. This is in collaboration with Gabby Loves Perfume here on YouTube. And what can I say? Another 
amazing gourmand by Navitus. Mm. This has like dark chocolate, hazelnut, chocolate fudge, Bailey's Irish cream, dulce de leche, caramel, bitter almond, vanilla. All of this delicious um, dessert filling. In the base, this has a very prominent amberwood and sandalwood that I think controlled the sweetness of the outcome of this fragrance. So you will be left with this chocolate and woody scent that is intoxicating. I, I love this fragrance. I find this fragrance sexy as well because it has that masculine touch in it. I don't know, do you feel the same? Um, if you have this fragrance, you know what I'm talking about. That amberwood and sandalwood in the base really gave that sexiness into this perfume. Mm. I highly recommend you Chocolate Queen by Navitus if you're looking for that sensual and addictive chocolate scent. Next up is quite new in my collection and this is called Vicious Cacao by My Song Tahite. Guys, this fragrance is so addictive. Mm. Basically, this is warm and resinous chocolate because it has a very prominent amber with slight booziness coming from the rum. Ah, oh, this is so, so beautiful. Another sexy chocolate scent, in my opinion, because of that booziness that is coming from the rum. It is not overly sweet. For me, this is borderline gourmand and perfumey. The caramel note in here gave this fragrance that sex appeal as well. Mm, I highly recommend you checking this one out. This fragrance is very intoxicating. It is warm, resinous, chocolate with caramel and some dryness as well that is coming from the saffron. And I don't want to forget the booziness coming from the rum as well. When it comes to longevity, this lasts around four to six hours. And after that six hour mark, it becomes a skin scent that is still so good. I don't have any complaints. Um, projection is moderate, by the way. Vicious Cacao by Maison Tahiti. Okay, and last but not the least is my favorite as of now. And this is 1970 by Rosendo Mateau. If you're watching my channel, you know how much I'm in love with this one. Basically, this is a grown-up and classy chocolate fragrance. Mm. This opens up very spicy and warm. Like you will really smell the spices that are in here. It is very spicy spicy and earthy in the beginning. However, as it dries down, the tonka bean and the vanilla picks through along with the cacao note in here. The spices will just be in the background and you will just be left with this beautiful and luxurious chocolate scent. I love this fragrance. I think that this is one of my best discoveries this year. Um, longevity and projection, I must say though, is moderate. Um, I can make this last for around six to eight hours. However, the projection is very moderate, but still love this because I feel like for this kind of fragrance, it has to be moderate. Otherwise, it will lose its classy and grown-up vibe. Um, yeah. Anyway, 1970 by Rosendo Matteo. 
those are my top chocolate perfumes in my collection. How did you find it? Um, now, I want to know what are your favorite chocolate fragrances? Or do you even like chocolate dots in a fragrance? Please write me in the comments down below. Um, just to let you guys know, I am starting to make this series of videos that are more note focus so i'm gonna make a playlist about all of my top recommendations of my favorite notes in a fragrance i think i've done best vanilla best coconut um best iris um and then this one best chocolate and you know what's going to be next but you have to stay tuned for that anyway thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you on my next one. Bye, guys.